Lois defending champions, and um, but St. Helens did beat you at the Challenge Cup. How do you feel going into this game? Yeah, excited. I think um, same as last year, St. Helens beat us in the Challenge Cup final and um, we, we still went on to, to get to a, a semi against St. Helens. So it's pretty much carbon copy of last year. So, we're, we're, you know, we're familiar with this, this territory and we're just excited. Yeah, it's, um, it's come around quick and I'm looking forward to, to getting out there on Saturday night. And what did you learn from Wembley playing St. Helens before? What will you do differently? What will the team do differently this time, do you think? Um, I think we've just been learning week on week, to be quite honest. We've got quite a, a young squad, quite a changed squad. Um, and we've just taken a lot week by week. And I think, you know, rugby is a lot about momentum and certainly heading into semi-finals and finals is about momentum. And I think we've got um, some good momentum on our side. Definitely learned a lot from our experience at Wembley. Um, and I think we took a lot of confidence from it. Although we lost, I think there's, you know, areas that we know we just let ourselves down in the day with some small, er- small key areas but actually showed a lot of promise at times and it's just up to us now to put those those little bits into into action and, and have a good time at um, Saturday at the Totally Wicked. And is the loss at Wembley a motivating factor for you to an extra one to retain the title? Yeah, I, I don't think it's sort of, it's not, I know people speak about, you know, is it revenge, is it get them back? I think ultimately the grand final is ours to retain. Um, losing hurts any game that you lose hurts, but losing at Wembley in a big final, the first final, yeah, it definitely did. And we spoke about afterwards that we'd we'd bought all that feeling and we'd bought all that to make us better at training and to make us better the back end of the season. Um, but yeah, we've got a trophy to retain. Um, and and that's what our job is on Saturday, make sure we get a spot in the set in the grand final. And what would it mean to you personally to retain that title? Um, yeah, a lot. I think um Every coach wants to to keep winning, um. But I think you know, as a group of staff and players, and as a club, we've put a lot into this year, um. So retaining that trophy will, will make it all the more sweeter, and it just makes sure that you finish up on your terms. So yeah, there's no feeling like it is winning the grand final come the back end of the year. So yeah, we just want to make sure we have a good performance on Saturday and give ourselves an opportunity to do that. And it has been really competitive this season. Do you think that shows the growth of the women's game? How's how's the season been from your point of view in, in that regard? Yeah, I think obviously we were a little bit slow to start in the season. We had a lot of um, changes um, right at the start of pre-season. So we were a little bit slow to start. We've gathered some good momentum now, but it's definitely been competitive from from the absolute start. I think, you know, look back at some of the games, the semi-final between York and, and Saints for the final, the spot for the final in Wembley. Um some of the games we've had against Wigan in the, the semi-finals, I'm sure that, you know, York are gearing up for a tough game against them this weekend. Um, so, yeah, there's been some real good games, um, some real good uh, battles between the, the four the four who have, have come head-to-head to get to these um, semi-finals and finals. And I'm sure that this weekend will, will prove nothing else and uh, it'll be the same again with some of them games being real good contests. And are all the players fit? Any injuries? Yeah, I think we're pretty much um, good to go other than the long-term injuries um, that we have had. So the, the other girls won't be coming back. Um, but in terms of people who haven't featured, um, we're looking to have the likes of Caitlin Beavers uh, and, and Kira back in the squad. Well, thank you, Lois, and good luck. Thank you. I'll just go mute myself. Hi, Lois. Hi, Pete. You okay? Yeah, good, thanks. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Just uh, a couple of uh, questions. How, what's been um, the situation with Caitlin? She's not played, I think, in the last two. Has she had a bit of a knock or, or were you just resting her? Um, she's Yeah, she's had a bit of a knock. So it's just uh, it's a bit of a niggle more than a knock, to be honest. So just giving her some time to um, get that right and make sure that she's good to go and available for this weekend. Good player to have back in a, a big game like this, isn't she? Yeah, she's um, yeah, she's key. She's our vice captain and supports Hannah in the role that she's got as captain. So, um, yeah, you always want Caitlin in your team if she's available and fit. How good's Hannah been this year? Every time I've seen her, she's been playing in a different position. <laughs> um, she's good. She's Mrs. Leeds, so if we ask her to go somewhere because it's for the good of the team, she'll do that. Um, you know, I think that she's um, she's gone really well at the half so far for us. I think she's made us a lot more balanced. Um, and if you've got someone like Hannah who's a running threat, I don't think that as a team we need someone who can play a lot of shape and structure. We just need someone who's keen to be direct with the ball and defensively defensively good. So um, I think she's provided us with a bit more balance and a, a little bit more of a relaxing influence in that position. 
I might, you might not know this, but am I right in thinking that you're unbeaten at um, Totally Wicked Stadium? <laughs> Um, I don't know if it's unbeaten ever, but it's definitely unbeaten since about 2018-19, I think. You've got a good record there, and obviously that's I suppose the the result the other week when you were missing one or two that that must give you a bit of confidence. Yeah, huge confidence boost. Um, obviously had a few players missing from that game. I think that um we won't read too much into it. I think you know there were it were a game of two halves, and I think that. You know, Saints are better in the first, we were much better in the second. So both teams will be looking to write that. And I think it'll be a real contest when we come, come up against each other. But, you know, I've said it every time we've got to some big games. I think that I always look at what we've got within. And I think we've got a really good squad. Um, and we've got a squad that have learned week on week and got better week on week. And that's what it's about, just peaking at the right time. So hopefully um, we do enough to do that this weekend and, and book ourselves a place to progress. Obviously, you want to go another step further, but considering the the, num- the disruption you've had the number of people that that have moved on and, and even when when the season started you've you've had people depart and you've had injuries do you think the fact that you were second um going into the the very last game of the season the only pipped by by saints winning is that do you see that as a decent achievement for a young squad um i probably didn't really think about the league standings too much to be honest because i think that you know a lot of it you know, play, the team that we played against us feel with that obviously changed things a lot. But we ha- we've just had to do what we've had to do at certain points in the season in terms of, you know, we got to Wembley, which is a massive achievement. And I think that, you know, we're really proud of that. Um, we, We've got to the semis, but we want to get to the final and we want to retain it. And regardless of who's moved on or moved out or anything like that, I think that we've got good strength in depth and what, whichever 17 take to the field at the weekend, I think we've got enough to get the job done Um, and massive belief in them. So... Yeah, obviously we did have some key players move on, but I think we've had girls step into those spots, fill them really well, um, and definitely have enough amongst all of us to go and have a real good day on Saturday and hopefully progress to the next round.